Periscopers. I'm just a couple minutes late. Hope you'll join me. I'm in a fairly empty restaurant, so, uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, if I wait till I get home, I'll be very late, so I wanted to join. Hello, Hayward35, or Howard. Hello, Ver Veronica Joy. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I'm a little late today. Ah, hello, Tampa Kid. Thank you for joining. If you enjoy it, feel free to invite your followers. If you're on an iPhone, you can swipe left to right. If you are on an Android, you can swipe bottom to top. Hi, good to see you. Um, you can share on Twitter or Facebook. Just use the hashtag Bipolar Faith. I'm so glad you joined us today. Hello, Dis123. Hello, KPR29. It won't be long. It is hot in California. <laughs> I've got to get back to the air conditioning. And I have a fuzzy head. I'm going to take care of that this week. <laughs> Hello, fellow cell. I think I can't quite. I'm not sure if I said your name right. Pecca cell, fellow cell, fessel. Hello, Ms. ARW. Good to see you again. I see your good food on uh, Instagram. Hello, in Lawson 221. Yay for the vegan breakfast. Hello, Inerjek. Inerk? Like Inerk, let's say Injerk. Hello, Antonello. Hello, Scream. Hi, what's up? So, thank you all for joining. Hello, Blay T. I <laughs> see. Hello, Scream. How are you? I love the company. Well, I said it's hot in LA, so I'm rocking the hair up sundress. And I'm in a, you'll see, hello, Zimfer89. I'm in a restaurant. I just finished eating a very late lunch. Hello, unknown enemy. Oh, ooh, unknown enemy. Thank you for the hearts. I feel the love. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And hopefully, some people will join us. Hello, A Moon SMS. Uh, my name is Monica Coleman. Ah, hello, Alija. I'm going to stop saying hello, but hello. My name is Monica A. Coleman. Uh, I'm so happy to see you, Krista O'Shawn. Thank you. Um, I'm Monica A. Coleman, and I am a professor of religion. I'm based in Los Angeles, California, and I am the author of the forthcoming book, Bipolar Faith, A Black Woman's Journey with Depression and Faith. Drops July 1, so pick it up soon. So I come on here every weekday and just talk about the answers to the questions that I get asked more than anybody else, anything else. And I often get asked, what are my spiritual practices? And... Um, how do I live uh, faithfully with a depressive condition? Ah, thank you for joining. And so, um, if you see the topic, I put music down. I've talked about music before. I've talked about kind of when I get down to the most basic thing, I sing the songs my grandmother sang when they were raising me and when they were taking care of me. And I want to talk about, um, you know, I think the role that music has for me, probably even more than I'm even aware of how much it grounds me and connects me and kind of helps me get out of my head or get back to moving and dancing and even just resonance. Um, it's great now that we have iPods, but I'm old enough to have had Walkmans and Discmans and all other types of ways of getting my music on the go. And I thought about this because I am really ramping up to go on the Bipolar Faith book tour. And you can check, my website is up and it's new. I'm so geeked. You can try it. Geeked is a Midwestern term for excited. I'm geeked. And you can find it at MonicaAColeman.com. And one of the things I put that was really important to me with this book was talking about the role that music has in my life. And so in almost every chapter, I reference at least one song. And the chapters that have no songs in them, it's a reason. They're very silent, they're darker, they're harder times in my life. And then when it gets better, there's more music. And so, um, and I've also, I did a whole periscope about spirituals and how I titled the book sections by the names of spirituals. And so music is meaningful to me. And because I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, there's a lot of 80s, 90s music, there's some church music. Um, so one fun thing I wanted to do for people who are interested in the book was to give you a playlist of the music that's in the book. So if you go to my website and go under t books and under Bipolar Faith, you'll see some YouTube playlists and some Spotify playlists. So you can kind of see the music I was listening to as I was growing up and going through different parts of my life. If you like videos, there's YouTube. If you're a Spotify person, you can just click on the playlist. 
there are two playlists. I put one for spirituals because um, I just I love spirituals and it's a way I really connect with um, with my faith and with my culture and with my people as African Americans. I do not know Foxy too, but I will check them out. Um, and then I got a bunch of kind of old school R&B stuff and some hip hop stuff and some contemporary Christian music. And so if you want to take it back to Nice and Smooth or The Kid and Play or The Jets, you'll hear some of that in there too. Um, and I think it's a spiritual practice. That's also really, really wanted to say that uh, connecting to music and um, feeling music is an important spiritual practice. I have a friend who shared with me um, shortly after her mother died from complications of Alzheimer's disease that music was really important for her mother and that when she didn't remember anything else she would remember the music of her youth and really move to that and groove to that and um, it just hits some place in our hearts that's deeper than mind, deeper than heart, deeper than soul even, it just is somewhere really in us and so I think connecting to music, whether it's explicitly Christian or gospel or religious music, or it's just the music that you grow up with, the music of certain eras, the music your parents played when you were growing up, um, that it, it really makes a big difference for those of us who live with depressive conditions and sometimes just need to get out of our head. Um, but it's also another way that we connect to God. You know, it's all these amazing stories about music in our scriptures, whether it's drums or singing or the Psalms. And that these are ways that people talked about their relationship to God. And it wasn't always, holy, holy, God, you're great, it's wonderful, life is groovy being religious. It, um, sometimes it was like, God, it's hard, God, it's tough, this is what life is like, I'm just going up the mountain, I need a hiking song. There are all types of things. And so I love how in our greatest traditions, there's always some kind of music that's an integral part of what it means to be faithful. And so I think that's important for us too. So I just wanted to share that um, with you all. I hope that you all are thinking about the music of your lives. You know, I used to love that show, Ally McBeal, and she was always walking and she had theme music. And so I used to be like, what's my theme music? What's the music I hear when I'm walking down the street? Like, what's pumping? Like, you know, what is my theme song? So hopefully you're thinking about what's your theme song? What's that song that you wish everybody could hear when you walk in slow-mo? And trust me, everyone looks sexier in slow-mo. So what's that song that's playing when you're walking down the street that no one else can hear and you're in slow-mo and it's like your day and you're getting it? So hopefully you'll think about that and that will be the spiritual practice to reflect on today. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. I'll check back in around 4.30, uh, 4.35ish. And thank you all for joining. And I'll throw this up again on uh, Twitter a couple hours from now so you can catch the replay or you can catch it here on Periscope. Again, my name is Monica A. Coleman. I'm a professor of religion based in Los Angeles, California, and the author of the forthcoming book, Bipolar Faith, uh, Black Woman's Journey with Depression and Faith. You can buy the book now, pre-order on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, your favorite independent bookseller. Use the hashtag Bipolar Faith, and I am coming to a city near you. So I will be in Irvine July 3rd, and I will be in Oakland at Allen Temple Baptist Church on July, I think it's July 9th. Uh, nope, July 10th. It's Sunday, July 10th. And I'm preaching both services. So if you're in the Bay Area, you have friends in the Bay Area, send them out. I can't wait to see them. If you're in the greater LA area, Orange County, come on out to Christ Our Redeemer and the church in Irvine. And I'll talk even more about that as we get closer. So thank you all for joining, and I will see you soon.